Yep. I've never seen that before. Chloe, give me your cheetah smile. Um, cheetah smile. I'm Heather. This is my husband, Brady. We are traveling the world full time with our two little girls, Alexa and Chloe. We are on a mission to explore the world together, showing our girls the beauty of the people, places, and cultures all around the globe, documenting our journey along the way. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. So we are very much enjoying our time in Valladolid. It turns out that it is the perfect spot to be centrally located as you explore out. It's very close to Chichen Itza, very close to other ruins, um, but it's also close to just dozens and dozens of cenotes. So today we're gonna have a cenote exploration day and pop into as many as possible. Uh, but first we're gonna grab some breakfast. Are you gonna bring Anna to the cenote? Aha, uh -huh, and she's going to swim too. <laughs> Really cute little place. What are you girls doing? Drawing class. Chloe wants me to draw a cheetah with her. You guys draw cheetahs? Uh huh. Chloe, give me your cheetah sm a smile. Um, cheetahs don't smile. Give me your cheetah face. <laughs> ah. Not like that. That's that, a cheetah face? That's every cheetah has a face like this. Oh, okay. What's your cheetah for all face? <laughs> Those for later? <laughs> yeah. Chloe's like our little squirrel. She just like once she she's realizes really it's, slow it's and she's like, oh, it's we gotta go. go. So she's like <laughs> packing up her little bag of, of all our to go food. Well, breakfast was exceptionally mediocre and expensive. Uh, <laughs> Via Delete is just chucked full of very cheap, affordable, very good local food. So, yeah, not that place. So our first cenote of the day is Cenote Oshman. It's about five kilometers uh, outside of downtown Valladolid, and it's gonna be a good one. A lot of the cenotes have uh, restaurants built up around them, and they'll actually do a package deal. You can get in for free at some places if you eat there. This place, if you pay 250 pesos, you have 200 credit towards the restaurant. Otherwise, it's 150 pesos per person to access the cenote. So the main reason we came to this one is because of this rope swing. Uh, but it's also just beautiful with all these vines hanging down and the sunlight coming in. Right now it's about 9 a.m. so we're not quite getting that sunbeam. Uh, but it's definitely a beautiful snow day. That looks fun, Alexa. Mommy has to try it. I got it. Yeah, you have to. I do not jump into water. That's just not a thing that I do. <laughs> <laughs> I also had a mosquito bite before, yeah. but I never ever I thought that mosquito bites feel like this. No. No, that's what a bee sting feels yeah. like. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little concerned by the swelling. I know. <laughs> so we are about to ready to get in and then Chloe got bit by something. Her hand is kind of swelling up a fair bit and turning purple. I did not purple. Purple is your favorite color. Oh, yeah. oh yay! So your hand is going to be purple. <laughs> what? That's, that's new, Daddy. This hand. Yep. I never seen that before. Yeah, it's an allergic reaction. So I looked at the area where she got bit, and there was a spider's nest. Yeah, buddy. You mean I'm allergic to spider bites? It depends on what kind of spider. So, we didn't have any <laughs> cell phone signal down there. No, buddy. but no, I do think why this is 
the spiders because they because they make me kind of allergic and because they're scary. Yeah, not all not all no, spiders really are bad. I really like don't like spiders. Me either. Buddy, you're being really brave, and you're gonna be okay. All right. Okay. Let's go talk to somebody about it. Hey, buddy, sit here for a minute. Oh. I don't wanna sit. There might be bugs. No, there's no bugs. So we think it's a, a bee sting. Even though right where she got bit, there was a spider nest. It seems to be reacting more like a bee sting. Which is so strange. I just would not think that bees would be. I mean, we are like they, but they 30 said that meters they do underground have them. at least. Yeah, they, she said they do have them. Yeah, that uh, seems to be helping. Yeah. yeah. Keep the ice on it, buddy. The okay. ice is working good. Chloe, how are you feeling, buddy? Kind of good. Kind of good. Good and a little bad. Okay. Hey, Chloe. Chloe, buddy. Do you think you want to try to swim again? I'm okay trying to swim, but I think we should keep this ice with us. Okay. Ices. Yeah. Thank you for being so brave, Chloe. You definitely can see a lot of bees flying up top. Man, now that the sun is coming in, the way it's reflecting off the walls. It's beautiful. Alexa, look at all the fishies. Yeah. You can do it. 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 Are you ready to get in? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you ready to get in? Uh-huh. Both hands up. Wow, it's a fishy. Fishy. It's a little cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are too little to do the rope swing, they won't let you try. Yeah, oh, you don't want to try. <laughs> good news. Good news. <laughs> I think that's bad news. No, it's me. <laughs> oh, he's still working on his backflip. <laughs> so, I was actually rather surprised that rope swing is so much more fun than it even looks uh, unfortunately the girls are a little too small for it and i'm still convincing heather to try <laughs> but i'll at least have fun on it <laughs> it's worth the cost of admission for all of us just for the rope swing <laughs> swimming towards the rope swing and this uh, fish came out of the water at me like this. Oh. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was eating a bee that had fallen into the water. Oh. <laughs> It's looking better. Let me see. Chloe, you're so brave. With this one, I dry it off and then. Maybe you washed it gone. away. 
Oh, look, another iguana. I loved having the life jackets. I feel like this Can time. Yeah, this time it was much more enjoyable for me. It's very because, relaxing. We don't have to worry about. Like, I'm a pretty good swimmer, but I'm a terrible swimmer. I just, it's like you get fatigued. Like you just can't stay out there very long. So and guess what? You get life jackets for free. It well, was included. It wasn't free. It was yeah. more expensive, but you did get a life yeah, jacket so, with it. So Note Ashman. So Note Ashman was 150 pesos per person. Um, which shows you how good of a value the cenote downtown is, which but is cenote Ziki. They are bees. Yeah. Yeah. Zaki. Ziki. Ziki Zaki. I think it was Zaki. Zaki Zaki. 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 Wow. We have to go through a tunnel. Mm -hmm. I like this tunnel. It's gonna get dark. So we have come to X. Gekken y Samula I definitely did not say that right. And we are headed down. Whoa, this is gonna be cool, kids. This is gonna be cool. Oh, wow. So there are two cenotes here for the price of one. Uh, I just brought the GoPro, which I'm already regretting because it's very dark in here. But this is really neat. That's so cool. It's even cooler than I dreamed. <laughs> What? That's so neat. She says it's even cooler than I dreamed. Oh yeah. Really Alexa, do you see all the like rock formations yeah. here? Oh, cool. so are we ready to get in? Yeah, let's get in. Is it gonna be cold? Yeah. You go first. No, you go. You go first. After you. After you. No, after you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. Oh. <laughs> it's colder than the last one. <laughs> It's cold. <laughs> Chloe, you have to go first. J jump down the next step. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. You don't. Come in. Come in. Just take one step down. No, it's warmed up. I, it's warm. It's nice and warm. Try it. Once you step on that step, it's warm. Trust me. <laughs> hey! Go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh. How cold is it? It's good once you're in. Same kind of as last time. Like it's really cold when you first get in. And then it's so cold. Hey, girls, I'm gonna go out there with mommy. Okay. Are you guys gonna wait here? Just walk their steps. Okay. I'm gonna go swim in. Oh, 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 oh man, that's cold. <laughs> Good grief, this is beautiful. I'm since they have life jackets, I'm cool. They can just stay there. <laughs> Shh, don't sc don't scream. Man, this is beautiful. I feel so bad because there's no way to capture how beautiful this place is. The GoPro just can't fight the the darkness. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Look how look how Chloe's glowing. <laughs> how is she? How is she glowing? I don't know. Okay, too much catfish. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> no. That was real. thing about these cenotes is that they're all different. Like every cenote we've been to has a really different feel, a really different vibe. They're all really, really cool, but they all have their own unique charm and it's really neat. It is the best. It's just like a, a whole cave. It's really cool. By the way, you having fun over there? Surprise! <laughs> So that was Cenote Shkeken, or however you pronounce it. So the next one is Cenote Samula. And uh, you do have to wear life jackets on in both cenotes. You actually have to rent them separately for both cenotes, but you can get a package deal for the entrance. Whoa, look at this entrance. <laughs> you ready for this? What do you think this one's gonna look like, Alexa? Dark, scary. You think it's gonna be another cave? Yes. Bats. Dark, scary bats. That's to mommy. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Chloe. What does a woman say to 
show another ruin on a bad day. What? This is a ruiny day. <laughs> this ruins the day. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Still working on making those jokes. <laughs> Whoa. Girls, look at this. This is crazy. Are you ready? Let's go check it out. I think this one wins for the most impressive entrance. That initial reveal is just pretty, pretty spectacular. Man, it's really awesome to see. I mean, all the birds flying in, the light coming down, all the rock formations. It's beautiful. This one's not very deep. You can see the bottom pretty easy. Yeah. What do you think about this one? Are the fish still scary? A little bit? You've been doing a good job being brave, buddy. The fish here are really small. They're just baby catfish. It's really hard to say. This one might win overall. This is just, it's really quite beautiful. They're already in. You snuck in while we were waiting for you. <laughs> hey, go down carefully, okay? This is awesome. This is, it's beautiful. The water is super clear. Hi, Chloe. Chloe, the water is so clear. I think so. I may or may not have broken the GoPro at the last cenote. We were like getting our stuff together and I dropped it. Sorry. Oh, be, be nice to mommy. Well, that's why we don't have a lot of video footage of this cenote, yeah. but it was beautiful. It was really cool. It's really pretty. Definitely one of my favorites. Overall, what do you think was the best cenote? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like, I think this one, as far as just like the look of it, was really, really cool. I think for picture's sake, this is probably the best one. It has enough light that you can see, but it still is like a complete cave. I think that's why I like this one the most because it's like you get that cave vibe, but it's light enough that it's not too creepy. You can see the bottom, which I think is really cool. I think the rope swing was my favorite. The, that first one that we did today was really cool. So. Alexa really liked the first one we did in um, inside of Viotoli the other day. It's the best for the value, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we are pretty exhausted. We haven't really eaten except for breakfast this morning, so I think we're gonna head out and get something to eat. Can you tell Daddy what you have to make sure before you leave the house? Before you leave the house, you have to be ready. Chloe, you're always pretty. Always. You ready to go get some food? Yep. Okay, are you gonna bring your brush with you? Okay, bring okay. my brush. Okay. Walk and brush, walk and brush. <laughs> So we've been staying at this super cute uh, hotel, uh, and right next door is our favorite restaurant. A little rainy right now, but we've been staying at Hotel Peregrino, and right next door is a hall, which has fantastic food. Tonight we have come to our favorite restaurant. It just happens to be right next door to our hotel, and we have ordered the vegetarian sablutes, which are delicious. It is the best thing that we've had in Mexico so far. We are so excited. We have gotten the girls some empanadas with cheese, which they love. And it's just a great night. We're excited to eat some delicious food. Kind of noisy out there with the street. <laughs> this nice. is what we've been sleeping to every yeah. night, which has <laughs> not proven to be good quality sleep, unfortunately, because <laughs> our balcony overlooks the, uh, the street. <laughs> so. Great location, great hotel, great area, yeah, not the best thing. <laughs> what? I wish outside our back balcony was a tropical island. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. We also are staying in a hotel with just, you know, one bedroom, two beds, so we are excited to, our next Airbnb is gonna have two bedrooms, so we're also excited about that. And I switch. can sleep any way I want. <laughs> well, you're still sharing a bed with Chloe. What? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so the best food in town are these vegetarian kalbutas. I actually, I would say this is the best food in at least our experience of Mexico thus far. Um, these are basically a common street food that's been elevated at this restaurant. So it's uh, this crispy little um, pastry yeah. uh, as a base. And one time it came with three fried beans on the, t on the bottom, this time it didn't. Uh, but it's got it's just a chuck full of vegetables, carrots, and uh, pickled onions, which are the best. Um, I put them on. You put them on. There's all. Uh, I got tomatoes, peppers, uh, lettuce, some nuts, uh, avocado, just a ton of different vegetables. Um, but also has this sweet sauce to it. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's a really fantastic dish. In our next video, we conquer some major fears and explore the ancient Mayan city of Ekbalam. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it.